we are live with our Kevin S. Tenney movie marathon. Grab your. Oh, gotta put the. Close it. Ow! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, that hurt. Oh! <laughs> It's not a funny bone. It's not funny. Ah! Uh, fuck me sideways. Ow, ow, ow. I hear you. I know, kitty. You didn't do nothing wrong. Just banged my elbow. Let's see here. We are live with our Kevin S. Tenney movie marathon. Grab your discs. Grab your copies of which board. Which board to... Witch Trap and Night of the Demons. Which is probably the best of the series, of the, of the films we're going to watch. I would imagine. Twitch.tv slash skin slip. Okay. Hashtag small streamers. Hashtag LGBT. Uh. No, ah, no, no, no appropriate thing there. Hashtag Halloween. Hashtag horror movies. Hashtag. Come on. Let's see here. Grab your copies of Wishboard, Witchboard 2, Witch Trap, and Night of the Demons. Sync and sync up with the on screen timer. Tweet! I tweeted it. There were Woo! tweets. Tweets happened. There, there. There you go. Impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Impressive! Hi, baby. What's up? What are we looking at? Oh, you want to play? Uh, oh, God damn it, cat. I'm trying to do a marathon. <laughs> I, put these, I put these curtains up. Um... And now she just constantly wants to play on the other side of them. <laughs> Sounds like a cat. Yep. She's super cute. Otherwise, I'd be annoyed. Yeah. All right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We got to get a few minutes for people to show up. Because we just tweeted it. Just did. I gotta be right back. No problem. Uh, let me put you into a movie with a guest. And then... There, you're on screen now. Oh yeah, touching my nose, yeah. No. <sighs> Full screen? There we go, yeah, okay. I gotta be right back, I gotta... I forgot, I gotta dump my bong out so I can put fresh water in it so I don't have to choke on gross water. Ooh, filth.
cat. What the hell? Why are you trying to kill me, cat? Oh my god. Because she loves you. Tiny bit more water. Like to not scorch my lungs. So we like to get the water just the top of the carburetor. The carb. It's not really carburetor. Is it a carburetor? I guess it's technically a carburetor. Okay. Okay. I need headphones. I can't hear Alex. Alright. All right. My movie fucking froze. Of course. <laughs> Alright, I am queued. Um, should be zero, zero. 138.09, roughly? Uh, yeah, okay. 010. Close or enough. Alright, once again, I'll have to, I have to move the timer first, move to the timer first, and then I will tell you to play. play. Oh, it's having that issue still? It's yeah. going to always be that way because of the timer I'm using until I uh, find another timer. I don't have another yeah. timer currently. So here we go. Alright. Okay. Get ready. Yep. Play. One, two, three, four, four five, six, yeah. seven. Close enough. Eight. Yeah, you're slightly behind me. <laughs> like a second. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So I said slightly. Uh, uh. uh. Delicious soda. Delicious, delicious soda. All right. Some weeds. Full screen. There we go. Uh. <laughs> this one's all right. I'm not gonna. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna shit on it, but it certainly didn't lead me to watch the second one right away. Yeah. Clearly. Apparently. Clearly. Speaking of the second one, I gotta log this in the letterbox. Everyone gets to watch me log this in the letterbox. Whoa. As soon as I find out where my thing is. Okay, we're good. Log again. Save. Add to list. Oh, and so, so, uh, so this is our last stream since the last thing. Uh, the 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 dedicated viewers might not rem remember last time I had a bunch of computer problems with the viewing. Ah uh, yes. Uh, the last time, uh, Skins movies totally borked my hard drive, thus prompting a whole reinstall, a whole new uh, new uh, a whole new all kinds of skins. I somehow things. broke his hard drive. I don't, yes. I don't know how it worked. The bad movies broke my hard drive. I'm blaming it on that. The bad movies broke your. Steel Breeze. Wow, what a, what a name for a band. It feels like there should be like a, a season indicator, like Steel Winter Breeze. <laughs> autumn Breeze for Steel. Autumn. Steel. Uh, autumn Breeze of Steel. Yeah. <coughs> God. <coughs> First up in our... Even the subtitle track, yes, let's do that. Oh, great, there's a Brandon. Brands are always dicks in movies and in real life, actually. What was it like? Do we discover that like most Alex's are evil, too? Yes. All right, now everyone's with a very few exceptions. I forgot to tweet about it, so I tweeted about it. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Actually, 
she knew that line was coming. Giant fucking bowl for this marathon. Quitting's for suckers. Americans don't quit. We don't stop till we drop. That's not true. We quit all the time. Well, Sergeant Slaughter told me to never stop till I drop. So, you know. Always stand for what's right. I also need subtitles. Jack first, hello second. God damn it, cat. I was about to pet you. Ooh. It's like the perfect dick name. I know, right? They own a vineyard, so you know they're fucking uptight snobs. big hit i'm very confused who's with you now because i thought evil brandon was with her but it's like are they together i think she's just playing the field i don't think anyone's in it together together i think it's one of those like dating things you know some people just date uh... around never been my thing i'm more of a relationship cat Very easy. Because God before God and Satan existed, spirits existed. They're older than God or the devil. They're in our DNA to like fear. It's true. Actually, uh, they did, dummy. They had little dolls since the birth of man. It's, it's a thing. <laughs> I hate Vaughn because he always puts resin on my lips. So... Uh, my question is, like, did this Brandon bring in, like, this ancient Ouija board to this, like, dinner, to this, like, party? Because I somehow doubt it was in that building originally. Jesus, this guy's such a douche. <laughs> I know. He is, like, so douchey it hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Clean system. But isn't that like a weird, like double-edged thing? Because like she does smoke because she's getting secondhand smoke. Uh, is it a matter it's, of it's, just it's, like it's about intent? The act. It's the act. The intent. Doing. The yeah. intent of it. Yeah, it's the act of doing that that dooms you. But wouldn't that mean like taking any kind of herbologicals would then make you unclean? Nope. Anything from Earth is fine. The problem with cigarettes is they're full of altered impurities and bullshit. If cigarettes were just tobacco, 
Do you know how much less problems people would have? You know? I mean, people still get cancer and shit. Because, you know, tobacco. But, like, it's so much better for you as a, as a drug when it's just tobacco leaf. There's fucking rat poison in cigarettes for some reason. Sure you would. That was a great death stare Brandon gave the other guy. <laughs> Just like, fuck you. It's just a basic wishboard, too. I mean, I've seen that wishboard design thousands, thousands and thousands of times, too. Now, I wonder if that was made in the first movie first, though. I mean, this design. Hmm. So I think it's just a classic design. Like, a old, ancient one. Public domain. It's a lot stupid, I love that. That guy's such an idiot. <laughs> I mean, I can't wait wait till he dies. I mean, clearly he's gonna die, right? You dope. Like, I don't remember a goddamn thing about this movie, dude. I can seriously watch this, and I don't... Maybe it's just really high. Potentially. <laughs> I mean, I'm really high now, but... The fact that I'm here to experience with someone, I tend to... Uh, remember those a little better, because there's discussion and talk, and... Funny moments. <sighs> David. Yup. Oh, God. <laughs> That's what they all say. What? What? Can't wait till Jim eats it either. <laughs> Jim's an asshole. Yeah, and uh, I'm pretty sure, like, a Cobra has, like, expensive tires. You can't, like, put, like, cheap tires on that thing. I mean, not that I can't afford it. He's the rich boy, remember? Ah. Oh, my mic's way too far away. I'm so sorry, audience who can't hear me very well. There we go. Now, my voice is clear. Except when I'm talking at the TV, which is kind of... Just the way I had to do the layout, unfortunately. Oh, my God. <coughs> his car... Uh, the Brandon's uh, uh, car has a... Uh, his last name as his, li as his personalized license plate. Sinclair. Oh, oh God. <laughs> How many... Le that's, that's eight letters, isn't it? 
Uh, yeah. They can't do. They can't sell a legal license plate then. It's not a legal license plate. It was the time of this movie. Maybe it is now. I don't know. Maybe they have it. They're like, we ran out of numbers. You know? I don't know. No, Cal California specifically, I think, has the largest plate, and we have seven. Yeah, I know. I've seen smaller plates. I saw plates with, like, five numbers. It was so weird. Yep. I was like, what? Yeah, some, some of the states only yeah. use uh, five or six it's sometimes. like there's only... 10,000 people in Maine, so they only need five, you know, like, five fucking numbers and letters. You're like, what? Because yeah. that's a lot of variations when you add letters in, you know. Oh, no, I mean, it, tri you know, triples it, pretty much. Almost quadruples it, actually. Yes. But then it really depends on how, what kind of system they have in place. It's like even here in California, certain vehicles only use certain type, uh, letters and numbers. Oh in yeah, that's places, true. So. Yep. Now, so there's right. limitations even with that system. And but. I'm sure it's like that in every damn state, and it's different in every state, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How's everyone in the chat doing? Hope you guys are enjoying. <laughs> Our silly banter over this movie, which you have to provide yourself. Uh, gotta check my email. I can't check my email while I'm on stream on my computer because everyone again gets to see my email. Ooh, exclusive new video from IQ Wrestler. And Brandon cared about his Ouija oh. board so much he left it. Oh, sweet. I'm just very confused now because uh, our hero here, Jim, like, I don't know if it was her house or his house, but like they're living in like the equivalent of a mansion. And like here he is working as like blue collar, like drywall guy. Could just be he enjoys having a regular job or yeah. he could be renting a room from a buddy or something, you know, and the buddy owns a mansion. Yeah. Could be some, or he lives at home, and this is his day job to hopefully move the fuck out. <laughs> he might be one of them kids that are like, I don't want anyone's help. I'm going to do it myself. Yeah. Can you imagine? Because I think that Brandon, <laughs> uh, Evil Brandon did make reference that he's like a disappointment to his legacy. Ah, so, see? I, I... Hmm. Maybe he got disgraced and he's living in a friend's house. I don't. I don't know the the backstory. I don't, it probably explains it, and I just don't remember it because I've only seen this once. Mm, I love you, kitty. Oh, see, look, you remember this Ouija? Just took a minute. He was very emotional. You yeah, know, you gotta give give him a moment. Yeah, I like her hair, her uh, her uh, her hair thing. What's that called? Fuck. A bow? No, it's a it's the oh, the head thingy. The, oh. The, it's a bow on a on a, like a yeah. um a headband or whatever yeah. hairband. It's like a giant hairband with a bow on it. I think it's cute. What are you doing? Oh, Lord. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally, David. Yeah, I totally remember you. Yep. I, mean, I was talking with this dude for who knows how long. Actually, talking to a girl. What a... Jeez, what a... What a weird piece of mythos. You're going to choose your parents. For reincarnation, no, I really don't want to. Thanks. Like I just imagine there's like some <coughs> weird like whole system in place. It's like because wouldn't everyone be like going after like like people with money? Some people, maybe some people just want really. Maybe they have like a quick process pick. Where you're like, I want 
people who will treat me well. Bam. <laughs> you got good parents or whatever. You know, like, maybe it's something like that. It's never explained. It's a random piece of mythos. I mean, and how long do you argue with ghosts? Is it, like, is it years, days? What, like, obviously years, because David was eight when he died. But, like, oh, God. Look at that shot. Yeah. You know some shit's about to happen. I kind of really like his friends. Which one, the green jacket? Yeah, the glasses. Kind of a shithead. I don't know why. He's a funny shithead. Yeah. <clears throat> Gotta boost your volume a little bit. Full screen, there we go. There you go. That's why he's a... Uh... That's why he's not working. <clears throat> Delicious. Yeah, James. Who's going to get it? Hammer or axe? Who do you think? Quick vote. Axe or hammer? Who's getting it? There's one above each of his heads. Who do you think is going to get it? Well, it's Jim's axe hammer that's going to do something. There's a hammer and an axe up there. Oh! Unexpected! Oh! Uh. Holy shit! No, Lloyd! You're the best of the characters! Ah, uh, I knew that was coming, by the way. That one I remembered. I rem I might remember some of the kills, apparently. What up? That's just, that's like a bad no, place. No, Lloyd! Actually. Like, fuck, dude. Yeah, sag me here. Night of the Demons is next, right? Yeah. It's the Night of the Demons, which is not in that movie. It's the song I like. Yes, kitty. Brandon's. Hi, baby. Sorry, folks, I'm petting the cat. She demands attention. Yes, baby, of course. All the attention. All the attention you want, always. Hi, baby. I love you. This is you. Dun, dun, dun. Pretty commonplace, actually. Yeah. Also, yeah, you right. probably got to use a fucking. Well, you'd like, have to take off the rest of the elbow. Or at least use a hook to, hook thing to get in there. Yeah. Like a hanger or something. And then you'll probably pull up a bunch of gross, disgusting hair that's probably stuck in there, too. <laughs> Ugh, I hate that shit. Wet hair is good. Apparently, she's handy enough to like <laughs> she disassemble. Can use a toothbrush. Oh, probably Jim's toothbrush. Uh, is it Dick? Oh, he's go okay. She's gonna at least try to be sanitary. I appreciate that. Yeah, but the other end would be much more logical. 
friction, baby. You know, for, hilariously enough, like the director's like this scene and just like okay i get it but at the same time like she only went like halfway because like you can take the rest of that off and just tip it up and make down. this really easy yeah and just tip it upside down and then put it back on <laughs> <laughs> he's just like what <laughs> he's just well, like... He, one of his best friends just died and he's just like um Scared her, dude. The ghost. You know, to say, you know, my friend Lloyd is now dead. Yeah, why are you just being a shithead? <laughs> just express your emotions, you fucking lunk. Wasn't secured oh, no, properly. After or... the bath, I have to say it's sheetrock because it was totally just like uh, um, drywall. Was it? Yeah, I guess it was kind of just drywall, huh? Well, they couldn't drop actual sheetrock. Why the fuck was sheetrock like that? Uh, part of the construction, I imagine. Well, uh, yeah, well. I mean, the, no, like, that's what... not how you, yeah. I don't I'm know, just... I don't build shit, bro. I like how it was like it teases this axe hammer thing. You're like, who's gonna get it, Lloyd or or what's his fucking face, Dave, Fred, Jim, Jim, God Jim. damn it, I can't remember. He's so forgettable. I hate him. I hate him so much. <laughs> well, he killed my favorite character. I know. So the movie's like, over with. Like, That's it. It's over with. That's it. We're done. <laughs> Shut it down, folks. The show's over. <laughs> Lloyd's dead. <Yeah. clears throat> So, with the premise that we've already established, I'm just like, okay, this movie, where's the witch involved? It's a witch board. The board is called a witch board. Oh! Meanwhile, Witch Trap should... actually has witches. But, but Night of the Demons has, like, a demon. I don't know. It's hard to explain. You just... It's, it's Kevin and Penny. I, 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 like, once you know it, I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. We're good. You didn't think about the fact that it's called a witch Board. Yeah, no, 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 I, you know. But the thing is, the, the my problem becomes that, like, in the movie, they call it a Ouija board. And I'm just like, shouldn't you just call it a witch board then? Mm. They're totally devil, you know. I want to take one and hang it above my, my entranceway to my house so anyone who's super religious gets really freaked out the minute they walk after walk under it. <laughs> I'm going, oh my God, what did you do to me? I'm like, I cursed you. You got a curse on you now. Welcome to the house of curses. Oh, you also walked on an upside down... Um, oh my God, you're doing this you? at the funeral. You were such the worst person ever. Mm-hmm. I don't believe in magic, bro. You didn't practice enough. That's what that tells me. Knock on wood, his head is wood. God, good lord.
<laughs> what is... Mm-hmm. Those are that the kind of hammer, yeah. Toshi. Yes, you're a massive dick. Very rude. <laughs> Awkward as fuck. Trying to lead in with magic and shit. Ghost accident. <laughs> Ghost accident, exactly. A gas a gaxident? That's not a thing. A gas a gas. A gas descent? Oh my good lord, that's a hard word to, that would be a hard word to smush together. Gastodent? Gastodent. It's just a weird word. A geistodent. I guess it's a ghost doing it. It's a geistodent, right? Welcome to the Welcome to the live unit of Witchboard. We we're discussing fake words. David? David? Oh, I forgot I had this. I had a, that. Man, I had an image open on my uh, on my other window over here for like two weeks. I didn't realize. Some random <laughs> photo up from Twitter of some magic deck that, that someone shared the photo of. Mm hmm. And I'm like, why the hell is this still open? I will take the icing skeleton outfit. Thank you. God, Brandon, uh, you're such a dick. I know. My God. Brandon's are dicks, all, and, and that includes movies and in real life and, and fiction in general. We really got the short end of the stick. Yeah. You Oh shit! Ba ba ba! The cord was cut. Where the... <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, Linda. Dude, I like Linda. She's just like, 
fucking shit. God damn it, you son of a bitch. It's it's actually kind of ridiculous, and it's like... It's way over I just imagine the director was just like, I need you to release all your personal anger in this moment. Yeah, like... She's like, I can do this. She's like a fucking... On a scale of 1 to 10 of intensity, she's 11 and a half every time she gets scared. Yeah, so, like, it's amazing. She's like really calm and like pretty cool during like rest of her acting, and suddenly, oh, oh, like holy crap! I should say acting, of course, you know. Oh boy! You give birth to an evil spirit, David. Which is like going crazy, probably, because you never sleep and you hear voices all the time and you have no privacy and, you know, it's, it's like being crazy. I wonder if they go into Jim's whole, like, I was a, a former med student shenanigans. Why did it be a hero of the movie, dude? God damn it. And there's gonna be like a whole like ridiculous trauma in his life to like explain why he's just like so like blase of a person. I mean, you know, he did just witness his friend get murdered. He's probably still traumatized. Yeah, but the whole her whole line just now is just like, I love you, and I know you love me, even if you don't know it. I'm just like, what? <laughs> okay, maybe you are a little crazy. <laughs> oh, ethereal and beautiful. You know, for theoretically, like... A student of some kind and a carpentry man. They live in a really nice house. Well, they're from wealth, remember? Well, theoretically, well, the gyms is like alcoholic parents. I just like, I don't know. Some of just like weird set design, you know, like they had a set, they used it. <laughs> like, doesn't, you know, you know, they used what they had. <laughs> Ah. Yeah, they just probably have access to a big house, and that's what they're doing. And all the house scenes are in different parts of the giant house, probably. Yeah. They're like Brandon, that Brandon scene was in another half part of the house. And like or each even exterior better, it's is a the... different. Each exterior yeah. of other houses are the same house, but from a different angle. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And imagine also it might have been like they rented out there like we need like a 12 bedroom house for the crew and everything. Just like let's use the same house like let's rent a big house and we'll film in it too. Do you think it was so important for him not to use it again he would call right back or rush right oh, over? Oh yeah. Or well, the, well, yeah, I'll think oh, some of it was oh. just like, you know. <laughs> not the tomato sauce. Symbolism, symbolism, kind symbolism. of, kind of. I'm really impressed that that tomato sauce was able to like somehow jump like three feet from the counter edge to the thing and didn't get any on the handle somehow. I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love how you're also somehow able to drive up to the work site.
related, Brandon. You must finish your... <laughs> we just can get you pregnant? <laughs> the way he looks down, like, he's connecting dots in his head, like, wait a minute. You know, these are some key facts you should probably warn people about. <laughs> hey. Don't assume the spirit's gender. There are evil women and thems and theys too. Movie from the 80s. <laughs> Movie from the 80s has no idea about gender politics 30 years later. Oh, he's going to possess the babe. Oh. Yeah. You know, I actually really like the actor for Brandon. He's like a dick, but that's kind of like the point of his character. But he has at He's least the snob. tone of like acting. He's a well, snob, the actor but he cares. for Jim, yeah. but the Jim care the Jim actor is just like, who? Well, no. Where did they hire you from? Arby's? <laughs> Rude! <laughs> oh my god! Dun, dun, dun. I don't know. You have to answer the fucking phone, dude. Go answer the fucking phone, dude. Jesus Christ. Have a sense of urgency, Jim. Maybe. He's like, fuck. Like, right there, it's the proof. Now, is he going to take the proof and absorb the knowledge? Or is he going to continue being a Doubting Thomas? Which is my favorite thing from Deadlands is that name of that feat. There you go. Oh, my God. Oh. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Slightly out of focus shot. Excellent. 
Ugh. It's just like ever so <laughs> slightly out of focus. And there's a hair in the right side of the frame. Damn it, Scream Factory. Can you please do a restoration next time? I swear to fuck. If. If Vinegar Syndrome re releases both movies, I will. Or this movie, I will buy it again because I know that they'll get rid of that fucking hair on the right side of the frame. Because they actually do Oh, yeah. It's totally right there. It's driving me nuts. Most companies would have just. Did, just removed it. Just, you know, a little digital tool. Boop, boop, boop. Little thing. It's hours of work because you got to do it frame by frame or some shit. But I mean, like, because it was that whole gone. scene. That one yeah, whole scene. That, yeah, but I mean, like. I, I just. God damn it. <laughs> Screen Factory bums me out sometimes. That's all. They have pretty good releases, but like, they cost more than Vinegar Syndrome, and Vinegar Syndrome restores their movies. Yeah. And that just kind of bothers me. It's like, well, if Vinegar Syndrome can restore, why can't you? You're a bigger company, make some money, has more employees, can afford it. Uh, that's, they're not in vampire movies. She really had a great, I do have to say, the the, the, the the psychic here had some great time with her character, though. Well, I mean, she's supposed to be ridiculous. You know? Yeah. Like how she has buttons all over her collar. Yeah. Why? I just don't get it, the buttons on the collar thing. Does it? I guess it's for a aesthetic. Look. I've seen like that kind of style from this era for like I don't know. I, I want to say that like not demographic, but certain people, the weird style of certain people. It looks like they ran out of buttons on the left side here. There's only a few. Ten, don't forget. Kind of stuck at ten. Forever. Except Lloyd. I totally wanted to kill him. <laughs> the candle became a flamethrower for a second. That was, that was it. So funny. I just, I just, I don't know. Just the casualness. Mm. 
no, 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 no. You're looking into a mirror. Going home. God damn it. Psycho psychics are assholes. <laughs> Official best now. character. Did you ever watch Money in the Pooh? Jesus fucking Christ. TTFN, ta ta for now. Woohoo! So funny, she told all these creepy things about this ghost and then she's just fine with it. Malfator. Alright, I'll be right back. I need to use the restroom. I have to party. Oh my god. <laughs> Good kill.
sure there was echo. I'm sure people could hear the uh, movie on my mic, but cause my headphones were like right in the middle of the mic. And I forgot to mute. I didn't, I didn't much hear much. Yeah, but you got the movie going. Someone yeah. who's just hearing the stream uh, might hear it. That's all right. It's not a big deal. Eloise Cole. Have you seen Mandy? No. Oh my god, you have to see Mandy. Nicolas Cage in a blood drenched revenge film. Psychedelic craziness. It's crazy and awesome. You probably enjoy it. Nick Cage is full tilt Nick Cage in it. Completely unhinged. I've never seen him so crazy. It's true. I really like Brandon's actor. I would look it up, then everyone would have to see my. Would, would, See you can watching me do that. Anyway, let's we'll see. If, let's see I, can, I can do it. No, I got it. I got it. I just gotta pull, pull up my phone. Did you get any Thrones of Eldraine? Uh, a little bit. I pulled. I was looking for some some. some... I got a fat pack and a and a, and two uh pre pre kit pre release kits. Yeah. I got a Once Upon a Time pre release promo and I got a foil nice. Hushbringer. Oh, nice. Neither of which I'll probably ever use because I don't play tournament shit. But oh, well, hush can be really powerful in commander with certain against certain decks. I also pulled a non foil <laughs> hush ringer and two more once upon a times. Like I had so much duplication in my fat pack, it was disgusting. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it's pretty gross. But I mean, I you know good shit. I, I just needed a few things. Uh, I picked up the brawl deck. Because uh, I'm commander player and the broad stuff is basically yeah. just. I don't have you know. they're, they're sold out. I can't get them. Yeah, until November, I've heard rumors. Can you uh, get me a set? If I get a set, if I get a second wave, yeah, I'll grab you a set. Okay. I also still need the black and red uh, commander deck, and the guy who makes a rhino deck, the red, white, and green. Oh, uh, the, the populate one. Yeah, those are the two decks I still need. Yeah, commander, the commander stuff. I have no idea if they're gonna do a reprint on that. I haven't heard any rumors. They probably are. I think Stephen Nichols is this actor's name. Dun dun dun. No, Stephen Nichols is this other guy. Sorry, Stephen Nichols is Jim. Todd Allen is the guy you like. You like Todd Allen? Hey, he's in the Postman. He's in Witchboard too. Oh, good. Spoiler alert: He survives, or he plays a different character. I'm glad he could play a different character. To be fair, oh, that'd be great. I'd still be great too. Yeah. Oh, he's in Django Unchained. Really? I don't know what as. You also look that up. Todd Allen is his name. Oh, <clears throat> so I figured it out. So this building they're in is basically an apartment complex. Ah. Because this is your landlord. Okay. And she rents the different rooms of the 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 mansion. That makes sense. Because they had like she had a, a squawk box on the wall for like the front door. Makes sense. Oh, makes sense. You know, now we're like, you know, it's like, why? Are they, like, they have like such a nice place for like. Nailed it. That's a great shot from the second floor. Dude, that would have been like. I still want to put no matter how serious the situation I'm like yeah that was a great shot I gotta fucking pat myself on the back one second alright let's go get, hop get on the ambulance whatever Ugh, 
Oh my yeah. god. You're the worst cop ever. <laughs> How? How do they match? That's not how, That's not that, how that, works. that works. That's not how that works at all. You're the worst cop ever. Who cares? Literally. Who gives a shit? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Whatever, dude. My god. You're like the worst cop ever. Dun dun! dun. <laughs> yeah, hormones can do it. It did to me. Shit happens, man. Some people get it worse than I do. Some people are the first like week of like hormones are the worst. Like they're vomiting all the time and stuff. Well, yeah. Well, but you're. I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. I actually vomited week two. Oh. Randomly on a random day. Like okay, but that happened. <laughs> it's like okay, what am I gonna do? I just kind of threw up, you know. <sighs> I'm gonna go with you. Yeah, there you go. Oh, made the most sense. And of course, they have to drive at 70 miles an hour. They drive faster than ghosts. <laughs> I have to look at the microfiche. They split up, or they moved, or both. Or they're not in town anymore. They married, you know, any other things. Man, he really likes sneaking up on people. He's going to get him killed one of these days. Yeah, right? Maybe. One can hope. Because his character annoys me. I know he's a fucking hero of the movie. Whatever. Oh, so far, Brandon seems more of a hero. He's actually, like, proactive in the trying to help people. (laughs) 
you know, I'm like, it's kind of ridiculous. I'm like a total 180 on a character. Where it's like at the beginning, I'm like, this guy's such a douche. I know, right? And I'm like, actually, like, I kind of like him. He's still he's a douche, like, but he's, he's still a douche. He's but not he's not trying like, to be. Yeah. He's just a douche by coincidence. I'm a very tall wall. Man, it's like it's so tall. Like the inside ground, ground was lower than the outside, but no. No. It's the wall. Or, you know, completely different set. Here we go. Jump scare from Jim again. I mean, it's super heavily implied that, like, the ghost is using Jim's axe to kill people. Yep. But it's just, like, in general, it's just, like, what if Jim's just a psychopath? Right? What if he's actually the one possessed right now? Yeah. I boxed it up myself. Meanwhile, I was seeing boxing it up, and he goes in a trend trench and takes it out of the box. And... Yeah. <laughs> well, the one that doesn't make too much sense is killing his friend Lloyd. Like, mm -hmm. the thing is, like, I can imagine, like, everything but that sequence, like, makes sense for if Jim was, you know, just literally a psychopath. Like, like a murderer. Like, not affected by a spirit. Mm -hmm. But him killing his friend Lloyd doesn't really make sense. Unless he was affected by spirit. Yeah. What was the name of that movie that I guessed the, like, the main plot twist, like... Sleepaway like, Camp? That's it. Okay. 30 minutes in. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, look! Jim, you fucking asshole. You stop so sneaking bad. up on people. He keeps sneaking up on people. I know. He's gonna get a hatchet to the face at some point. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Hey, he wasn't an ass with his joke. A little psychic humor. Are you scared? Well, you should be.
probably will. <laughs> He's an asshole. He is. I need to go pee. Hopefully, no. nothing amazing happens. <laughs> Buddy buddies. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> okay. You Anything just, awesome happen? No, you just missed more bonding, and then she uh, she just woke up. In a, okay. From a ghostly I voice. I figured it was going to be something like that. A ghostly voice saying, Linda, Linda. Linda. And I really just hope it's like the creepy detective being like, do you want to see how, did you know magic trick and just, like detective, Jesus. I'm just doing magic in front of her. Like, what? <laughs> The detective is so annoying. I, like, I know he's doing his job. They, like, they wrote him I the most be, annoying sod ever. I would turn to him like, look, I know you're trying to do your job, but can you be less annoying while doing it? I just, just get to the fucking point. Yeah, you, you, you suspect me. I didn't do it. I lost my hatchet. I can't find it. I bought a new one. It's like, there's a ghost situation happening right now. Jump scare. <laughs> Not from a really Jim. bad one. Another, another bad jump scare. Ah, Jesus! What the fuck? The real David. A new Ouija board. smoke right next to these barrels. I know, right? It's a movie. You know those are explosive barrels. They always are. Video Not games red and enough movies. to be explosive. Video games and movies, barrels are always explosive. You know that. It's the truth. Same with cars. Cars explode, remember? Even though they don't really explode like that in real life. Don't oh, die. Not much you can do. <laughs> Don't die. <coughs> oh, there's no, no uh, glass on it. Probably because it's causing lens flares. It's not actually not necessary to have glass either. Evan. I. Evil. L. Evil. Evil. What do you mean? What the hell does evil mean? What the fuck kind of question is that? Jim, did you. I know you went to med school. You should know what the word evil means. Jerk. No, he just wants...
evil. You already said that. E. V. I. ASMR Ouija boy board noises. Yeah. Malfator. If we had the internet, we could just Google it. I know, right? Well, Faith was a band, apparently. Hmm. Not shocking. Well, it's Portuguese for evil, if you can take the... It's... It's the feminine singular... Oh, it's a Malfeitora. Interesting. Uh, Malfeitor means criminal. Okay, chill the fuck out, David. We got this shit. to be here. They're slightly ahead of me, apparently. No, I'm guessing. actor trying to hide his face. Yeah. <laughs> I just mentioned face like, damn it, I thought those things were heavier. Criminal. Unfortunately, they didn't bounce as if they were full. Nope. They were quite empty and they're the cardboard uh, uh, Storage things for like, They're like uh, good twenty pounds still, I think, aren't they? No, those things may okay, maybe they're cardboard on the side. But they with got a metal rim and... heavy rings. Oh! Yeah. No, you're alive in the second movie. <laughs> it's like shitty detective than a walk in. What? Bro. How is? Hi, I mean. Then how is he in the set? He must be a different character. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right with that. Or it's a prequel. What if it's a prequel? And it's just he's, the only, and he's the only character from, that from the pre from this movie. I don't know. I haven't seen it, so I don't know what's going on. We won't see it for three movies. It's at the end. Yeah. Still about 18 minutes left in this movie. Mm hmm. Twitch is being shitty. Keeps, uh. Keep losing our viewers. Like, they're still here, but, like, the counter keeps breaking. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. It's annoying. Oh, no body, no dead. 
Yeah, we just saw it hit his forehead and split open. It doesn't mean he's dead, right? It doesn't mean he's dead. He just had a really severe brain damage. <laughs> that would be an interesting turn for the character for the sequel. Yeah, right? Oh, the worst water ever. Ugh. Oh, Jesus. He's not dead! <laughs> Take him to the hospital, save him! He's the best character! He's still alive! It's probably gonna get septic and he needs like a face transplant. Oh god, you can see like the like the um the makeup it doesn't take water as well, nope. so it's like. <laughs> Will you get him to a car? He's clearly take alive. him. He's like, I'm alive, you fuck. I'm alive, you asshole. I know it's like keys in my front pocket. It's like I can't drive a stick, Brandon. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, pop it in first and go go past fifteen miles an hour. You can you can drive just or fine. just or just wreck the engine, uh, just overdriving the in first gear. Nah, there's no reason to. It's like I can't go any faster than this without breaking a car. Break the car. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just overheat the engine mostly. Light the gearbox on fire. Yeah. Spinning so fast, <laughs> smoke's coming out of it. I just feel like it's the beginning of a meatloaf uh, music video. It's all coming back. It's all coming back to me now. There were moments of uh, passion. There were flashes of light. <laughs> Come on, you don't like a little bit of meatloaf in your life? Uh, you know me, I'm not really a musicer, my friend. God damn it. The goddamn meatloaf. He's got like the most pa he he's got the most passionate vocals ever. He can sing about he literally sings about objects in the mirror appearing closer than they appear. No joke. It's the name of the play that's that's the lyric it's the title of the song. But there's a lot of passion and emotion to it, so you're just like, Yeah, yeah, they are yeah, you're right. Objects do appear closer in the mirror. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Like, I don't... Like, You're holding mean, it the wrong way, Linda. He also worked with uh, Jim Steinman to do um, a Batman musical. I, truthfully, I know the Batman musical. Oh. The, the music on that is amazing. Yeah, Land, Land of the Pigs. It's my favorite song. It's a great goddamn song. It's like the best Joker song ever. It's the best <laughs> Meatloaf song ever. I love meatloaf. Bad you out of hell. Upside down, Linda. Turn it around, and you'll get better connectivity. It's like a, it's like an antenna on a TV. You you're you're holding it. it in the wrong location. You yeah. need to turn it around. Or you can turn the board upside down. I think it might work. If you want to go full upside down. Or you know, those those clothes might be getting in the way, so you can like get naked. Maybe. Oh, I'm not getting sure. naked. Apparently, look at that. I forgot you're slightly. It's actually, some new, it's, uh, some mild news. Oh, you don't say. The house you live in. Interesting. Male Fetor. Jesus Christ. Night of the Demons is next. And a bunch of nudity in that. Linda, Linda Blair? No, Linda. No, it's not Linda Blair. Linnea Quigley, Jesus Christ. I could not for the life of me remember her name, even though I know exactly who she is. 
Hey, I remember the sequence from the movie Pulse. Have you seen the movie Pulse? Um, probably not. It's about a ghost electric, electricity ghost. Terrorizes a family in a house. And the one woman gets, like, severely burned in the shower because it magically keeps the door closed and burns her, uh, even though it's electricity powered. Get a body shake there, Linda. Honestly, that's that. Using the towel is probably a good idea. Yep. Naked stunts. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it might have been sugar glass, but I don't think It was think probably so. sugar glass. It probably was. Because I don't think in that shot, the shower was even on in that shot. Because you can't use water at the sugar glass, so it would just melt it. Oh, you can use it for like a couple little, just a short bit of time. They That's had to true. get her wet. That's true. They probably just got it wet and then she broke through it. Wet, yeah. It being wet probably made it way easier to break through, too. Yeah. Probably why it came apart in big chunks instead of shattering. Maybe that's what happened when it got wet. It decided to come mm. out in big chunks. I mean, it was, representing, it was rep, replicating plastic, basically. Essentially. Like that polycarbonate crap. Oh! Shocker! Oh! Guttural Roaring. I think you said title. I like that house. It's nice. It's very nice, yeah. I would decorate the arch there like a hobbit hole entrance, though. I wouldn't mind living in a hobbit hole. That'd be cool. My yard being on my roof. We're not going to get our deposit back. Well, you know, it happens. Well, Jim's going to be lucky to get out of the, to, uh, to not be Woo! imprisoned. I'm not Linda. I like how she's wearing a hat and a dapper hat kind and a jacket. To like... Is that all she's wearing? She no, she's wearing a, t- a full tie shirt Oh, she's got a full get, full, full get up. Yeah. Well, he the, the, the uh, Carlos Evil didn't want to like go around naked. He's not that kind of mass murderer. <laughs> the dude is literally named Carlos Evil, by the way. Yep, pretty much. Carlos Criminal, actually. Malfagor is uh, criminal, not evil. Oh, then they miss said it. In Carlos the movie. Criminal. Carlos Criminal. No, Jim. You're the... God. Mama. The power of love. The power of Christ compels you. The, the power, power of, of Christ love compels compels you. you. Uh, Mati, get in here. Yeah, let me follow the cop. That's not a smart idea. Could get shot at. He could have opened that door and they could have all been shot by gunfire. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad you heard going to die in just a few seconds. <laughs> Tried to warn you, dipshit. Not with seven minutes in the movie.
God. You trust in an evil spirit? I know, right? I'm just like, dude. Yeah, you're the portal. You deserve this. No. <laughs> Just like no. <laughs> that was great. That is a ridiculously bad effect, but amazing. It was amazing. What are you talking about? <laughs> he got hit by the camera. That's why he's being knocked out of the window. Because the camera hit him. I'm falling. I don't know why we're doing this shot like this. Uh, the end of the movie. Uh, no resolution. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Go. Oh, no. I can't actually take it to a funeral. Oh, yeah. And then suddenly, hey, they're actually getting married. Hooray! Woo! Literally, like, shotgun wedding because he still has the neck brace on. Right. Yeah. I mean, you get a great shot of Brandon not being dead. The detective totally believed being... us somehow. Oh, my God. The poor. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> the camera zooms in. <laughs> Is the thing gonna move? With all those Is it gonna move? It's like boom. With all those holes in it? Yes. Oh, come on. Ah, there you go. Yeah. Ah. Fucking money shot right there at the end. <laughs> so, what do you think of the movie? I liked it. I did too. Three stars out of five. Uh, I really appreciate the fact that, like, Brandon starts out as like a really dick character and then you like near the end you're like oh no Brandon you're dead just like you're like no <laughs> well, I find it funny they systematically killed out like every character I liked <laughs> four more hours and you'll find out how that actor is still in the second one yep unless I misread the names I don't think I did Next up is Night of the Demons. Night of the Demons. All right, I got to go edit this. Me with the movie. Actually, I can do it here, I think. It's the Night of the Demons. Ba, 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 ba. The song by the movie, or the band Demon, actually. Oh, my God, he's in... He... he is uh an actor on the days of our lives oh cool <laughs> general hospital young and the restless nice <laughs> empty nest second trap i'm like uh he's a doctor in a tv series literally just called santa barbara <laughs> that is a soap opera uh so he was a soap opera actor for a long while. Well, more power to him. Yeah. Uh, where's 86? It is which board? Which B O R E D what? I'm sorry? Board. Uh, let's see here. Movie with the gas. I do not see a second witch board on his list. That means I read the wrong, name wrong. It's probably the other yeah. guy, Jim. Bastard. Yeah. It's Damn it, Brandon, fair. you're supposed to live. You're a better character. I know. Oh, yeah, Todd Allen is Jim. Yeah, yeah, he's the guy in, like, did Django. Oh, who's he playing in Django? Dr. Bill. No, Dollar Bill. 
no idea. I don't remember that character. Must have just been an extra, like a yeah. small character. All right, I gotta go do our social media posts, which means you are minimized. Oh my god, he's the he's a he's a random character in Witchboard too. He's the garbage man. Uh, uh, Brian, the Jim. branding guy. Oh, Jim. Jim is a random character. It's just a random character. So he's just like a legacy character. Interesting. He's just like here. You're in the first one. Here's another character. Like, <laughs> I hope he's like the sage character that gives him advice as the garbage man. Next up, he's like is <laughs> Night of the Demons. I gotta have to specify which year too. Hold on. In my head, canon Brandon lives from all that. Yep, he's just in the hospital during the uh, the wedding. That's why he's not, yeah. that's why I wasn't there. Because they shotgun wedding it. Because they like don't even like <laughs> <laughs> like the poor landlady doesn't even get invited to the wedding, and she has to clean everything up still. Yeah, poor lady. When was the last time I watched this one? I've seen this one two previous times. Uh, 2017 and 2015. Twitch TV... Grab your disc and sync up with us. Night of the Demons. Gotta find your poster. Did you see the photos of Brandon Ralph as uh, Kingdom Come Superman? No. Holy shit. Look up Brandon Ralph Crisis on Infinite Earth. Or Brandon Ralph Crisis, and dude, he looks exactly like Kingdom Come Superman, and I very much, very much want to see uh, that movie. <laughs> I want, I want him to be in Kingdom Come. I want him to do. Oh, I, I've said as much as I want. I've been wanting them to just do, uh, like Elseworlds, like all the Elseworld stories, specifically Kingdom Come, because it speaks so deeply about faith and humanity yeah. and it's mm -hmm. like so much more than just a comic book yeah and now that we've had superhero movies we actually have like a mythology built up in pop culture because like you could have just done that in the 90s there was just not enough superhero mythos in pop culture and so no one would get all the plays <laughs> and all the things you're playing off of right yeah so the fact that they that now now is like the perfect time it's like Superhero culture is like a thing. It's kind of crazy. Tell me an update for stream, Captain. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay. Um. I need to. The social media done. Uh, I threw up that thing, right? We posted it. Okay, it's been posted. Who is he in Scott Pilgrim? Uh, movies with guests. Oh, 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 oh. Don't explode it. No, I just switched before I switched. I wasn't quite ready to switch. Oh, he's Todd. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what character did he play in that movie? All right. Uh, I need to re retitle <coughs> the stream. Wow, this is a... Uh... Night of the Demons. Shit, what year was it again? 1988. There's a remake I haven't seen, so. Halloween Horror Film Night of the Demons. Live commentary viewing. Live viewing commentary. Live viewing commentary. Update. Uh. 
Uh oh, uh, Scarecrow, Mega, how's it going? We are di we did we we just finished Witchboard. We're about to do Night of the Demons. Then we're doing Witch Trap and Witchboard Two. We're doing Kevin S. Tunney films today. So Tenny films, Kevin S. Tenny. He's the guy who directed all four of the movies that we're doing. Anyway, I'll be right back. The stream's gonna restart one second. Mm -hmm. 